Normally we shouldn't even talk about resting, since it comes naturally to us. However, there's a fundamental problem with the activities that we choose for resting and we should definitely address it. And while we're at it, I might as well just give you my personal recommendation for resting properly. Taking our time to rest, recharge and refuel is a necessity if we want to maintain a productive schedule. Yet, in our free time, we frequently resort to activities that may not provide much rest in the first place. The base idea of relaxing is to give your brain and your body some well-deserved time off. However, binge watching a show on Netflix, playing video games, continuously scrolling through your smartphone or simply following YouTube's algorithm and always watching the next video is definitely not a form of relaxing your brain. It may seem like a way to cool down. However, in many cases, it actually makes us feel sluggish and worse off than before. This is not necessarily the case when you watch an episode per evening but rather when you decide to tackle an entire season in one weekend. The problem is the constant stimulation that we experience. Our body may be laying there like a lump sack of potatoes, but our brain is on fire. Being it on a perception level, when we watch a show that includes a lot of action scenes and is generally just very flashy, or when we watch an emotional show that just drags us in and binds us to the characters. This may even be taken to excess when you binge watch an entire show and then feel completely lost after the last episode. On the other hand, taking a walk in nature or reading a good book is much less demanding. We might still be heavily invested in the story, but it is a little bit more abstract since we need to imagine the characters and how flashy the action scenes are going to be. Even exercise can facilitate rest in a proper way, since it helps us to clear our head and since our body then demands nourishment and a bit of additional sleep. If you want to get the most out of your relaxation time, then I suggest the following. Firstly, have a clear separation between work and resting, physically as well as mentally. It is crucial to not take your mental baggage into the resting periods, even if you didn't accomplish the goal of the day. Having clear boundaries also means having specific times for resting. This is not necessarily referring to a specific time window that you need to follow every single day. It rather means that you make a clear cut decision and say, okay, work is done for today. Now it is time to rest. When this happens is of little importance. What matters is the clear distinction. Secondly, make sure that your relaxing time actually balances out your job. If you usually work on a construction site and carry heavy materials, then a book might be ideal for you. On the other hand, if your profession is tied to a desk, then taking a run in the park or exercising might be a better solution. Other than that, you might want to avoid overstimulating your brain through Netflix, playing video games or simply frequently going out to party. I believe that solitude, nature, exercise and books are the best ways to relax. But to an extent, this obviously depends upon preference. Lastly, Make sure that you actually listen to your body and not to your chattering attention hungry mind that is constantly seeking the next big thrill. That's it for today's video. If you want to help me out with the YouTube algorithm, be sure to hit the like button and leave a comment below. A huge shout out to Eli Z, David Rose and Robert Kempf for supporting me on Patreon. I wish you a wonderful day and I will be seeing you in the very next video.